Hi guys, it's Lou Collins and today I've got another five minute makes for you because it's Friday. So this one is really, really simple and it's ideal for you to use with your scraps. Now these are large scraps of mine. I try not to keep anything a lot smaller than this because I just get too much. I'm going to be using um, a rectangle die is simply that. Now this is a scallop edged one and I would suggest that you use one that has got a decorative edge because it just it just gives it a little more texture. Now I've gone for a four colour combination here. Um, you can go for three colours, four, five colours, whatever your options. Um, so then I've got here a 5x7 card base, it's a top fold one and I've cut myself a panel of cardstock, this doesn't have to be thick cardstock or weighty cardstock this one, it's just a panel to place onto the card base afterwards and it's going to get loaded with layers anyway, so uh, it can be really lightweight, it can actually be another scrap if you like, but I like to keep it the same colour as the card base. I've then got an option for a sentiment at the end but we'll come to that then. So. What I'm going to be doing is covering this card base with die cuts from my chosen shape. Now this can be rectangle, square, triangles, diamonds or um, hexagons or octagons. Anything that will kind of fit together and create like a patchwork. So these will beautifully. Now you need to work out roughly the surface area and how many of these you'll need to cover the piece to give you an idea of how many die cuts to make. Uh, you can of course go ahead and do more if you need them later but it just gives you a starting point. So looking at this I'm going to get one, two, three, four. So I'll need five that way and then definitely probably two. So if I cut 10 in total, hopefully that will just about cover and then I can just do one or two more if needed. Now with my cardstock, I know that most dies will easily cut through two layers of cardstock if it's not too much of a heavy weight. So I'm going to quickly whiz through and cut these just with one little bit of tape on my die. Now, a lot of people ask me, and I wanted to discuss this because I get so many questions on how do I choose my colour combinations? And I have to say that Pinterest is an amazing resource. So I go to Pinterest virtually every day. And if you're thinking about a colour combination or you'd like to a colour combination and you're not quite sure what to go for, I would say pick a pick a colour. Just pick one colour that you would like within that combination. I think we often do sort of think, I'd like something based around browns or blues or whatever it may be. And simply type in the search bar blue or colour combination with blue or with blue and brown or with teal or with purple whatever it may be and you'll be surprised at the amount of inspiration that pops up so that's what I do to come up with um, my colour combinations uh, that is really helpful as well when I'm choosing my Distress Oxide ones too because I can just simply say I'd like a colour combination with a dark teal if I'm doing Uncharted Mariner or um, something like a, a grey green if I'm doing sorry there's cars going past if I'm doing uh, ice spruce and I kind of just work with that and I roughly know that those are going to then work so already I've got myself four die cuts and as you can see I am going through two sheets at a time so I'm just going to whiz through another couple of layers of these now this is the perfect time for me to ask you once again if you're not already a subscriber to my channel please do hit the subscribe button and I would really love it if you could give me a thumbs up on this video. I would also love it if you could uh, drop me a comment and let me know what is your top tip for speeding up your card making so that you can make your quick card makes because lots of us have lots of tips and tricks up our sleeve that help us create fast cards and I'd love to hear yours in the comments and of course if there's any really good ones in there I'll read them out next week. So now I've got 10 pieces at the moment and I'm going to be putting these at an angle a little bit like a herringbone sort of pattern so um, I'll probably just set these out first start setting these out just randomly in the middle and we'll go with one like this so we'll get the four colors down first of all this is probably the part of the card that's going to take you the longest I would say because this is it's a little bit time consuming just working everything out but in fact it's the part that I really like so now I've got this much put down I know that I want to do um, a pale lilac here probably um, I'll 
probably go with the dark purple down here um, and then pale lilac up here. So I think I could do one pale lilac, one dark purple, and that will be enough. So just taking my two sheets again, and we are overlapping the edges here. And if you've got any other small areas where you need corners, hopefully you'll have enough left over once you snip all the edges off to just fill those in. Okay, so I'm kind of happy with the spacing of all the colours and everything. So I am going to go ahead now and start placing some of these elements down. So now I'm just going to turn this over trim away the excess carefully because I do have uh, glue on there. I'm using the Craft Stash book binding glue. It dries so, so quickly as you can see. Uh, so be careful when you're popping your pieces down because like I say, they do dry quickly and you won't need, you won't be able to lift them up very easily after or within sort of 20 seconds. Now I'm going to take my um, panel here. I've trimmed all around the edges. Everything's where I hoped it would be and I'm just going to place this with wet glue down onto my card base there. There we go, so you see what I mean, you don't need that panel to be a really strong cardstock because that's where the strength is now and then I'm just going to simply die cut myself a word. Now I've got these lovely words from my Textures Brush Strokes collection. Um, I might actually mix these maybe with one of these sentiments from the texture sentiments for all something like hello from white cardstock and then wonderful friend from the black now just as I finish this card off is the perfect time for me to tell you that we've got the five minute makes playlist here for you to see and you can also subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of the other uploads either so there's the finished card I hope you've enjoyed this and hope to see you again for another Friday five minutes make very soon